What's going on guys? Charged up here in the garage with the R6. Today's video is gonna be a tiny bit different, but it will be pertaining to the R6 and to something that we just did. So I have a tool to use with the R6 when it comes to the chain adjustment. All right, so in the previous video, I showed you guys how to do the chain adjustment for the R6 as per the service manual and these service specifications. However, I came across a tool that's supposed to make this a lot easier. And that tool is the BPA Racing Motorcycle Chain Adjuster Tool. Let's go ahead and unbox this guy right now. All right, let's open this guy up right here. We got a little message on the inside. Dear Ryder, thank you for your purchase. The whole BPA team wishes you the most amazing adventures and always safe rides. Please remember, if you need any help at all, we're always available to share our knowledge with you and answer any questions. Now, really hit the road. And I also have a barcode uh, for the owner's manual for this guy. But I think we'll be okay because it looks like all the instructions are on the back anyway. So it's got this little pouch thingamadooger. Put that aside for now. And there it is, that is the chain adjustment tool. It looks a little, looks a little, I don't know, it looks a little different. It's uh, It looks kind of cool to be honest with you. I like it, I like the way it looks. Let's go ahead and take it out of the box and see what else is in there. So this is the chain adjustment tool. That's kind of cool. It's got a little little wheel here. It's got a little bushings. It's got, it's got bushings on the back. This one is loose. Oh, I'm guessing that's for adjusting. Oh, interesting. Okay. And then we got a spring, a really, really tight spring, but okay. That's cool. Put this down over here for a second. And then we've also got a Allen wrench, but it's a star. It's a star, not a normal Allen wrench, so put that down. And then we've also got a BPA uh, wrench over here. I'm guessing that is going to be for right there to hold it. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. To hold it and then to adjust. Yeah, interesting. Okay. And I think that's it for the box. I don't think there's anything else in the box. Except for the foam. And then, yep, that's it. Let's go ahead and move that aside. So we got these in the box right there. Let's go ahead and move over to the bike and put this guy on there. So before I move over to the bike, as you can see, there's a barcode here as well. It's a video gallery. I'm sure they show you exactly how to do it and different videos on it. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff on the sides. Okay, essential. Uh, and then we have the how to calibrate, which is on the back as well. So it shows the how to calibrate and then how it works. Let's go ahead and we'll do calibration. We just previously did the adjustment, so I don't think we'll be able to do the how it works portion. But I'll explain it as it explains it in pictures. Pictures are always easier. <laughs> Let's go ahead to the bike now and, and see what we get out of it. All right, big note on the actual box itself. Before calibrating the BPA slack setter tool, make sure the chain slack is adjusted as instructed in your motorcycle owner's manual. Now we previously did the chain adjustment and I have it exactly where I want it at 40 millimeters. So we're ready to go ahead and calibrate this tool and put it on the chain and get it ready for when it does need to be adjusted later on. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. This is, this is the tool as I showed you guys when I took it out of the box. This is super loose, let's tighten that a tiny bit here. So what we're gonna do is step number two, I guess, because we already have number one because the chain is adjusted to where I want it to be. So we're gonna go ahead and mount the top bushing in between the chain right here. So we're gonna mount it on the chain's inner link. So we're gonna go ahead and put the bushing on top on the inner link. So it's gonna go on the inside of a link like that. Then we're gonna lift it up. And then by hand, we're gonna actually lift it. Well, that's a tight chain, that's a tight spring, nice. And then it's gonna go onto the chain like so. So as you can see, the top bushing is on top of the chain right over here. We got that bushing on top of the link. And in this one, there's a link there's a bushing in between there that goes under a different link on that. That's a neat idea. It's actually pretty cool. So we got that set up. That's nice. So as you can see right here though, the alignment is out of whack. So it's not actually aligned. So I, had, I do have the chain to the adjustment that I wanted to. Now we're gonna set this adjustment tool to uh, line up with that line right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tool that comes in the box. This is the star. Link, and we're gonna loosen. Oh, that moved really quick, so that's pretty good. Then we're gonna use the wrench that they gave us as well. We're gonna line it up, so the outer line is gonna match up with the inner line on the tool. And then once that is lined up, we're just gonna tighten it. Let's go ahead and tighten it. I'm gonna try and do this so 
you guys can see. Now this piece was pretty loose, so I'm gonna tighten it. There we go. So that is tightened. Nice. And that's how that's how it looks when it is in the good position or the okay position. Now remember, the chain is adjusted to where I want it to be, and that is 40 millimeters. So that will always show me 40 millimeters for the adjustment. So that's the only reason we need these two was to set that uh, set that to where we want it to be. So these will get put away in the box. So now that the chain tool is on there, you're gonna ask, well, how does this actually help me whatsoever when it comes to adjustments? The tightening of the chain is gonna be the exact same process. Loosen the axle nut, loosen the locking nuts, and then you're gonna move them side to side slowly to get to where you want your chain slack to be. The difference is, the next time I put this chain adjuster tool on, this is probably not gonna be lined up. So the next time I, ch I check it a thousand kilometers from now, Maybe it will be lined up, maybe it won't. But if the line is this way, then it's too loose. And if the line is that way, then it's gonna be too tight. And then that way, you don't need to measure going up and down, up and down on the chain like I did in a previous video. As you're doing the tightening on each side slowly in small increments, this little guy right here, the line is gonna go from either tight or loose and it's gonna come back and perfectly align with the line in the back right there. And when it does align, you're golden. You're at that specification that you wanted the chain to be at. So that's actually a pretty cool idea, I like it. I obviously can't use it now because I just changed the adjustment and I'm not gonna be riding until obviously the winter goes away. But I'm definitely gonna use this chain adjustment tool the next time I do have to, and it's super easy to put on. Super easy to put on and to take off. So it's just a quick, off, like that's, that's super easy. That's super easy to put on and put, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's, and it obviously stops you from going up and down and measuring everything. That's, that's, that's cool, that's a cool idea. I mean, don't get me wrong. I hope it works. I hope it works really well because I am gonna do this adjustment and now I'm gonna actually check it just to see where, if it's where it needs to be. That's cool, that's a cool idea. The next time I need a Jason adjustment done, I'll definitely use this tool and then I'll let you guys know how it works out. I'll actually do a video on it. I'll do a video on it and then we'll, we'll go from there. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Just a quick chain adjustment tool that I wanna actually start using this upcoming season. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Make sure you hit that like button guys. It helps out a lot when it comes to the algorithm. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that notification bell for future videos with the R6. Until the next one guys.